Victoria Plays and welcome to my channel. This is the second episode of Family of Four. Now, obviously, this phase doesn't look like, you know, a very happy phase, mainly because the girl's tired. She's tired. It's nine o'clock at night. All the family has left. Um, in the last part, um, we left off with her getting accepted um, into college, but she doesn't know which college she wants to go to. So we're gonna have her research the colleges real quick. Did she apply for universities? She didn't yet. Okay, so she's gonna see which university that she wants to um, apply to the most. So we're gonna go ahead and research that. He gets off at 2 a.m. I believe. So she has time before she you know, goes to sleep. The babies are asleep. Oh, well, he's not asleep. He should be asleep. Is he just sitting in bed? Oh, he's asleep. Okay, there we go. Um, the babies are asleep. So she's up by herself alone, which gives her enough, oh God. My bad, that was on accident. They need to move that button. <laughs> Cause T and M is like a hot, a hot, or a sticky, you no, know, it's a sticky key for when um, you want your Sims to travel. I clicked that button on accident so many times. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and see which, um, I'm pretty sure, I don't know if she's gonna do the fine arts degree. What the hell? Girl. If you don't come in here and review these uh, universities, I don't know why she did that. Research universities, Foxbury. She's probably gonna go to Brychester. I have a feeling she might pick Brychester. Okay, let me turn this down. This is definitely copyrighted. Is it on low? Oh, it is on low. That's okay. That's okay. I'm not monetized yet. So let's see what Foxbury has to offer. Oh, feel itchy. Oh, that's not good, girl. I'm gonna have to get some facial creams. Let's see, because I don't even know what degrees they have. I don't know if she's gonna do the fine arts career or art history career. She's probably gonna do the fine arts career. It helps her get paid more if she becomes an artist. Okay. Is this still mysterious weather? Okay, it's still mysterious weather. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, there we go. I was wondering why it wasn't popping up. Okay, consistently rated as a premier university, Foxbury Institute boasts a modern campus with the impressive facilities and a broad swath of alumni who have emerged as innovative leaders in their respective fields. The university is always looking for students who dare to dream big. Okay, so, they have uh, the Spirit Squad, the Brainiacs, and the Savants. And she ain't gonna join either one of those. I'll tell you that right now. Okay, so the distinguished degrees are biology, computer science, economics, physics, psychology, and villainy. I almost said psychics. Okay, art history, communications, culinary arts, drama, fine art, history, and language and literature. Okay, this looks like a nice campus. It's probably somewhere where she would go. I did research that distinguished degrees in The Sims basically means people who, it's like the gifted, talented, um, the gifted, talented class of the school. Like, you know, your grade school, you had that one class that everyone bragged was the gifted and talented class, but there was no proof that it was an actual gifted and talented class. They just said that. So anyways. Let's see what Brightchester has to offer. I feel like if she has a distinguished degree in fine arts or art history, she might take it because I'm pretty sure she maxed out her art skill. Let me see, where was step 10? Yeah, painting, definitely maxed that out. So that's pretty cool. We're gonna go ahead and see if they have fine arts for distinguished. I also don't like the floors of the house. I want them to be a little darker, but I always have dark wood in my house. So I'm just gonna, you know, suck it up. Okay, the University of Brychester holds nearly a millennium of history within traditional halls of learning. Having taught every type of student from royal to unknown, the university pro oh, prides itself in educating both minds and morals, molding students into well-rounded and upstanding sims ready to enter the world and make a difference. So they have the Spirit Corps, 
Art Society and the Debate Guild. So if she gets into uni this university, she's definitely going to join the Art Society because she feels like that's something that she can actually do. Um, do something a little extra rather than just studying, but she's going to see if she can have time for it. Okay, so Art History and Fine Arts is definitely in the Distinguished Degrees, as well as Communication, Culinary, Drama, History, and Language and Literature. So basically, Brychester is basically flipped from what the Foxbury degrees were. So we're gonna go ahead and apply there. So you're gonna, apply, I'm gonna let her apply university then then she can go to sleep. I dare them to put up a $75 application fee for our universities. Here in Texas, it's like what, 25 to $50? Is it snowing? I don't know what mod or what like pack this is because I don't have Strangerville, obviously. So I don't know what's doing that, but this mysterious weather gonna have to stop. It's usually like freaking hot in Oasis Springs. And then when I put eco, eco what, eco lifestyle in my game, that's when the mysterious weather thing came. So eco lifestyle back in together because this mysterious weather I'm not having fun with. Okay, go ahead and apply to universities. What's this? I was cold in here. Okay, well, Andreas can turn the thermostat on when he gets inside because she's tired. Okay. You can pee later. <laughs> oh, yeah, and I have to change this to the bathtub because my shot, like, my bathtub and shower combinations aren't working ever since the update. And I don't know what to do about that. So I'm going to go ahead and get back to you guys when the entire family's... Are you still coming to celebrate? Dad, it is like 1 o'clock in the morning. Guys, so we are back with Andreas and Manu. Every Jerica and Kaya went to school and they went to work. So these two are home alone. You guys know he doesn't go to work till like 6 p.m. And, um, Hello. They just gonna freeze like that? Okay, well, is the baby clean? Okay, the baby's clean. Perfect. <laughs> I don't know why. I, I'm not the only person in this game who does this. Like, they'll literally sit them in the shower, in the bath, and just sit there for like 20 cent minutes in the water, just soaking away, looking like a prune. So, um, anyway, since he's hungry, I'm gonna go ahead and have him make his own. Well, eh, it's probably brunch. So, I'm gonna go ahead and make him have his own. Um, meal cook custom meal there we go let's see uh, I'm pretty sure that was the geek con thing okay candied yams hmm broccoli cheddar so oh, shrimp and grits okay do that by yourself there we go <laughs> oh yeah it is geek con we'll probably go we'll probably go Look at this little boy. He's so cute and chubby and round. Okay, go make your food so you can go eat. So, I think the... Oh, Lord. Oh, I thought this was broken. I was about to say. Not not it being broken. It's too many things going on in his house. Is this the mail? Do we have mail? Okay, well, he has mail. Um, whoops. Oh, check neighborhood action plans. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and have him make himself something to eat, some shrimp and grits. And then you, so he ages up in like a week or so, right? Let's check, Does he age up in a week? Yeah, he ages up in like a week. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and try to get him to uh, at least learn as much as he can before he ages up. Oh, what's this? Who's calling? That was his mom. Hey Andreas, I'm feeling a little stiff today. Do you want some? Do you want to do something with me in about an hour to loosen up? Uh, no, thank you. Um, so we're gonna try and get him. One thing that's really important for me with toddlers is potty training. I don't know why, but I love when my Sims like teach them how to potty train. So if we can today, we're gonna get him to um, potty train. I think she ages up on Thanksgiving. I think Jerrica ages up on Thanksgiving. That's a lucky birthday to have. You get to eat all the food you want, plus your own cake on Thanksgiving. 
I don't know about y'all. I only like Thanksgiving because of the because uh, of the mac and cheese. If it's not mac and cheese, then I probably don't care. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and have him eat. Sorry, y'all. Not my Postmates. I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna have him eat, and then I'm gonna cut back to when everybody's home, cause he's really gonna be trying to get my new to to you know get his skills up what for whatever. So I'm gonna let him eat, and I'm gonna get back to y'all in the next section or next part. Next part. I'm gonna say next part. Yeah. All right, guys. So Jerrica is home from school and she started to ask her father questions. Let's see what that is. Not smart enough. I'm trying to do homework for school, but the last few assignments have felt really hard. Maybe I'm not smart enough to do it. What do you think? Focus on different topics or spend more time. Practice makes perfect. Andreas would say spend more time on it. You we always have responsible kids. All right, so since she's hungry, I'm actually going to have her wait till her dad's going to cook something since he's going to work till 6. He has three hours. So I want you to come over here and watch some kids TV. I do have a like replacement mod. Um, if I remember, I'll link it um, down below in the description box uh, and or comment section if you want a replacement mod. Um, but really the mod just replaces like certain um, things on a TV like channels or whatever. So she's going to go wait. I can't wait to see. Oh wait. No, don't eat that. Go sit down at the TV work hard I always forget to put that on there okay so he has acquired the potty training skill well Manu acquired the potty training skill which is good he look like he's sound like he's having a hard time getting out what he needs to get out thing is I don't know who for my toddlers I can't tell which parent they look like the most like with Manu I don't know if he looks like his mom or his dad probably his mom I don't know why. I see it in the eyes. He probably looks like his mom more. Um, so hopefully she gets off of work soon, right? What time does she get off of work? Five o'clock? Yeah, nine to five. Okay, cool. So let's see. What is she watching? Oh, look at that. She's watching the Lion King show that's on uh, Disney, Disney Channel. I haven't watched Disney Channel in so long. Oh, it's the Lion Guard. <laughs> That's cute. That's a cute show. Let's see, where's she out of her progress? Okay, can we turn this volume down? Because it's a little loud in my ear. We can't turn the volume down? Okay, I have seen this show. I ain't gonna lie. I have a cousin, and she watches this show like crazy. It's a good show. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, let's see. Oh, she has an aptitude badge. Okay, well, go collect that, girl. What are y'all up to? Did you do a good job? Did he pee on the floor? No. Oh, that's good. He gonna be a quick learner, y'all. He gonna be a fast learner, I can tell. Oh, yay, she has a scouting manual. Okay, well, do your homework first and then you can read your scouting manual. Okay, that theme song is actually pretty catchy, and I'm about to sing it, so let me let me not. Let me focus on the Sims real quick, okay? Whoa, they're just standing there. Okay, well, play with, the, play with your son. Play. You can read him a toddler book later. I don't know why, but whenever I tell my Sims to read their kid a Chicks book, it never works. <laughs> uh, Zimbabwe. He's just so big and tall. <laughs> Andreas is in trouble. He is in so much trouble. Look at her face. She is pissed off. And you want to know why? Because he bought this big old bar and put it in the middle of the backyard. And he bought the most expensive bar on the market. Now, what, now usually, you know, this probably wouldn't have been a problem, but they don't have a lot of money. They only have like $4,900. And they have to pay bills pretty soon. And she's about to go off to college. So they need to save as much money as she can. And one thing that Andreas has always wanted was his own personal bar in his own backyard. But Kaya was like, no, a bar is way too expensive. You can drive to your parents' house to go work on your mixology skill, right? 
uh, okay, well, Andreas was like, well, I don't care. I don't want to drive all the, I don't want to drive 30 minutes to practice for an hour just to drive 30 minutes back home. That's, that's two hours waste of my time. And I can just go in the backyard and do it. So he bought the bar anyways, as in retaliation as to Kaya going to, um, college because he did find her scholarships in the mail. Andreas can be very petty. He's a sweet and nice guy, but he can be very petty. Look at the smile on his face. He already know he in trouble. He like, yeah, I bought the bar and you're going to college. I didn't want you to go to college. Look at his face. He already knows he in trouble. He doesn't even care. He doesn't even care. I love Andreas though. He's just real petty. He just real, real, real petty. But you know, Kaya being Kaya, she don't hold nothing in. She don't come over here and say what's on her mind. Like you really bought a bar. A bar for what <laughs> for what where is it chew out oh let's do that look at her stomping her way inside the house Ooh, he's in big trouble <laughs> Jerka is like my family is crazy <laughs> my daddy's in trouble <laughs> Zarda, let's see can I get a good thumbnail Let's see if I can get a good thumbnail. Oh lord, she got acne. I don't know, I don't want that in my thumbnail. But that's okay. We all have acne. It's alright. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can get a good thumbnail. Let's see, did I get a good thumbnail? Y'all, I don't know how to work the cameras on my Sims game. So don't, don't make fun of me, okay? I don't know how to work. Okay, wait. C for screenshot. I know that. I know that part. Okay. Okay, wait, go back up. Nope, that's zooming in. No. <laughs> We're gonna try that again later, okay? Okay, let me see. What is Andrea's face looking like? Because he's like, well, I've always wanted a bar, just like you've always wanted to go to college, but no one, no one complained about that. Let's see, what does his face look like? <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Look at his eyes, like, twitching. <laughs> But anyways, Andreas is like, look, I wanted the bar. I got the bar. You don't like it. Oh, well. Homework is complete. Thank you, Jerrica. All right. So what he's going to do usually when he is like upset or angry at something, he usually just goes to the gym and takes it out because he doesn't like yelling at people that much. Okay, give the cold shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> He doesn't like give, he doesn't like yelling that much, especially at people that he really does care about. Who is this? Can you open the door? What? I know he ain't at my door. Okay, but wait, why is the baby outside? Okay, come inside, please. It's cold. It's cold. It needs to be stacking your toys. Or come talk to your sister. Come talk to your sister. There we go. Like, how the hell did he get outside? We need to start locking the doors then. Uh, make funny faces. And then you, and then you can go to the gym. So he's going to go to the gym and become more muscular than he needs to be. <laughs> he's going to go to the gym with his brother and um, Johnny. Johnny Zest. I can't wait for y'all to meet his brother. Oh, but yeah, so like I pulled up earlier, look at the map. I, I changed it. I changed um, the three um, places that we're going to be um, going to throughout this LP. And that's Oasis Springs, Newcrest, and M Willow Creek. I almost said Milk. I almost said Milk Creek. That's the name of my dorm. Okay, let's go to the gym. And let's go with Johnny and... Oh, wait, where's Abraham? There he is, Abraham. Okay, so here we are at the gym. And this is a... Okay, I'm gonna have to change this hair because I really don't like it. <laughs> but this is Abraham. I don't think they look anything alike. But this is Abraham. This is his brother. So let's see. I think he's in college. I believe so. So I'm pretty sure Kaya is going to Brightchester. But let me see. Is he in college? Because his brother literally just graduated from high school. Like, this is his second semester in college. So let's see. Ask about degree. Do they look alike to y'all? They def he's definitely younger. Look at how short he is. <laughs> he's got his mom's height. Ah, <laughs> 
but I don't know who looks like the other. Okay, yeah. He looks more like, okay. Oh, he's communications at Brightchester. Correct, okay. So, obviously, he looks like his dad, and Abraham looks like his mom. So, he's gonna come... What's this? Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, he's gonna come over here, and he's gonna go ahead and work out... If I can find where the workout stations was. I've never, I literally downloaded all of those lots and I didn't even look at any of them. But I know there are some of the packs in the lots that I don't have. <laughs> so come over here and work out together. Bar, he's just gonna burn off like some steam because he knows he's in trouble at home. <laughs> okay, y'all are catching up. Great, go work out, please. Johnny was like, I don't know what y'all doing. I'm just standing here. I'm about to go work out. That's what I came over here to do. <laughs> I really do hope Andreas and Johnny grow very close because they are very new to the town. Like, Jerrica doesn't even have any friends. Like, that girl has... N oh, I can't... I can, can I check her friends? Like, yeah, see? These are the only people she knows. And the only person outside her house she knows is Johnny. And he's a young adult. So... Yeah, we're gonna try and get them some friends, especially Jerrica. She's a kid. She wants some friends. So next time she goes off to school, that'll definitely be in the. Oh my gosh, I ain't got no shoes on. Oh crap. Let me. <laughs> Let me copy and paste their outfit real quick. Hold on. Oh, he angry. Look at him working out. He's like, I wanted that bar. <laughs> And I don't feel guilty for it. Okay, copy and paste outfit. Oh, he's sweating everything. I think that's from the Wicked Whims mod. Who's punching? Oh, Abraham. Okay, MC dresser. And um, outfit commands. Oh, copy and paste. And paste outfit. Okay, did it work? I don't know if it worked. Okay, I don't think it worked. Oh, it did work. Okay, good. Okay, so I, I was about to say, I don't know why he's just standing there now. Now he's the one just standing there. So he's going to go ahead and get his workout in and probably talk. Abraham sometimes can be the mediator between the two. He'll, he'll, tell, he'll, he'll tell him, too. He'll be like, look, you, um, you were wrong. Well, he'll tell him that Kaya was wrong. But after his workout, he's going to go ahead and have a deep conversation with his brother. It was like, well, she went to college and I wanted my bar. So I don't think it was a bad idea for me to get the bar. And it's not like we're in the hole. It was just $3,000. <laughs> okay, is he done working out? Because he looked like he was done working out already. I wanted to at least get his skill up. I don't even know. Oh, his fitness skill is three. Okay. The end is near. Are you, girl? Well, his skills going up. Let me just say real quick, quick, because I still want to have um. Oh, here we go. I still want to have different games on my channel as well. So Abraham is like, uh, I don't know what to tell you, brother, but uh. Yeah, that was stupid. <laughs> that was stupid. You could have waited to get your bar when she when she graduated. And he's like, I know, but the bar is going to help me get better at my skill. He was like, yeah, but you still could have waited. Mom and dad have a bar. You could have read some books. You could have practiced at home with your own with your own drinks. You could have bought some. Not Johnny over here eating. <laughs> I want to take a picture of the of the family. Oh, well, he getting up. Never mind. I want to get a picture of them. I don't know why, but I love seeing the families on here together. Okay, okay, workout equipment. Perfect. They definitely don't look alike at all, in my opinion. Like, he's darker than his brother. He's lighter than the brother. And he's taller, he's shorter, and he looks like his mom, he looks like his dad. They look nothing alike, but they're very, very, very close. Very, super close. So he was like, yeah, you you might want to, like, go home and work that out with your wife. Because you shouldn't be here at the gym running treadmills and stuff. But we are going to let him run the treadmills. <laughs> it's 
Is somebody yelling? Oh, it's not like somebody was yelling. But he's like, nah, I'm gonna think about it. Because I still feel like I'm right. He is contemplating it a little bit. A little bit. But he still feels like he's right. But he's definitely not in Kaya's good graces right now at all. <laughs> at all, at all. <laughs> uh -huh. So he knows he's in trouble when he gets back home. <laughs> I don't think he knows what kind of trouble he is when he gets back home, though. That's the thing. He might be on the couch. Because Kai is not afraid to put him on the couch. <laughs> but hey, this is not to say he's not proud. Now, that's one thing. Let's not get that confused. It's not to say he's not proud of her. It's just that for some reason... <laughs> For some reason, he just doesn't want her to go to college yet. I don't know why he doesn't want her to go to college, but he's just a little bit upset about it. And I think he's just upset because it's just kind of like, it's just, I think he's just focused on the money part. He doesn't care about the fact that she's trying to get her degree because he's very proud of her for doing something that she's never done before, which is get her degree. I think he's just upset about how much money it's going to take. Cause it's going to take a lot of money. Ma'am, are you okay? Cause she was really excited to get on that treadmill. <laughs> she was really excited to get on that treadmill. But yeah, I think he's just upset about the money. And then, you know, financial aid, you're gonna have to owe the government twice as much than anything. Oh, baby. <laughs> okay, that's embarrassing. That's embarrassing. That's karma. That's karma. That's definitely karma. Okay. <laughs> okay, get off the treadmill, boo. It's okay. You can go home now. But he is super, super, super sweaty. He's gonna text Kaya like I'm on my way home, and we can have a conversation about this bar. And she didn't even respond. Oh Lord, he in trouble. He's like, dang, I'm on. It. I'm in a doghouse. Sleeping on that tiny ass couch. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Kaya might be a little bit understandable about it. She may, she might be like, okay, yeah, you're right. It's tit for tat. Yeah, sure. So we'll see. So I'm going to cut back to um, when everybody's at home. It's 10 o'clock. Kaya wasn't too happy about that. <laughs> this might take this might take a hot minute for her to, to get over, but they definitely need to have a conversation about it. But he's definitely going to be in the doghouse for a hot minute. How long? I don't know. But... He, he in the doghouse. He even fell asleep to the TV. Oh, you can't even see the TV. <laughs> but he's definitely in the doghouse. But, hey, that's what happens when he gets a little petty. You know, he's petty with the wrong one. Kai is the last person anybody wants to get petty with. But that is it uh, for today. I'm going to go ahead and end this part right here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember, comment, rate, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next part. Bye.